Hi everybody, welcome. It's Michelle Newton here at the Angels Toolbox with your weekly Angel Feather Oracle reading for the week ahead, Monday the 31st of August through to Sunday the 6th of September, Father's Day here in Australia. So we'll call our beautiful angels in and we will ask them to give us a beautiful clear reading for the week ahead and we'll draw three cards for the week. So the first card second and the third card for the weekend and here we go. The first card, the start of the week, we have a very soft energy here this week. It's the Peach Angel Feather Secret Desires. I think we've had this in the last few weeks. The angels are aware of your innermost desires and dreams. Hand them over for safekeeping. We've just had a full moon last night, so time to release everything that's not serving us but also time to really set our intentions going forward for how we can serve or be of service to fulfill our life's purpose here on the planet this time round. So we'll go to the middle of the week. Innate creative talents. Well, the angels are asking us to really step into what makes our heart sing this week. The angels are here to reinforce to you that you have natural creative talents and skills which need to be unleashed or further developed or even starting to do something again that you haven't done for a long time or picking up that project you never quite finished but you really would like to finish. These are things you love to do. They're not a drain. It's just finding uh, the time and making time for yourself, for your creative talents. And on the weekend, we have Cream Angel Feather, which really sits in the peach colour scheme. Embrace change. The angels applaud your willingness to embrace change with acceptance and maturity. So let's have a look at the three cards sitting together and let's in, I'll intuit for you what I'm feeling about this week going forward. I feel it's a very soft energy around us this week. So the angels have got their wings around us this week asking us to take time for the things that we love to do and the things that make our hearts sing, as I said before, allowing ourselves to have some time just for ourselves, embracing change, so making the changes that are just for you, for your creative abilities to come out and shine through. So to do that, you must put in your diary, uh, 3 o'clock on Wednesday, I'm going to have an hour to myself or, you know, something like that, allowing that time. Or after dinner at night, I'm just going to write in my journal or I'm going to paint or I'm going to do some knitting or whatever it is that you absolutely love to do. There is a change coming on the weekend. I feel that you will make the changes that you require for yourself this week. It's very much the angels are telling me about you looking at what you need to do for yourself so that you can actually feel lighter. They're talking about lightness and softness around this week. So whatever you can do to feel lighter, if you're feeling heavy, if you're feeling burdened, I think it's a really great week to connect with your angels, ask them to release that burden. The full moon energy is very much about releasing. So you may feel a little bit lighter by the end of the week if you've done your work around the full moon, uh, the weekend just gone. So it's also a very feminine energy. So it's tapping into that feminine energy again. Not so much being in the male and, you know, forcing things to happen, but allowing things to come to you and allowing yourself to, if you are a female, of course, but males have female energies too that they need to tap into. So it's really about tapping into that feminine energy this week going forward. So Archangel Gabriel is a great angel to work with when you're working in this area of this really soft feminine energy that they want you to address this week for yourself. So I wish you a beautiful week going forward. Just like to let you know that here at Emerald Bank at the Healing Centre, we have a really big day on Sunday, the Heritage Father's Day rally. We will be offering aura photos and angel card readings here at the centre. I'd love you to come down and say hello. Also, I really know that a lot of you would love me to go back to the in-person readings, the videos of me doing the readings. Just understand that it's been a huge amount of energy to manifest the centre, get it into creation. We're still getting things organised here, letting it settle now into its energy. So I'm hoping to be able to go back to the videos shortly. 
it does take a lot more time to do the videos and they have to be edited and there's a lot involved with that so I thank you for your understanding and I'll get back to that as soon as I can because I love to do them as well so take care all the best to you and yours and your dads if they're in heaven or they're on the earth plane sending lots of love to them and to you and I will see you back here next week for another beautiful angel feather oracle reading at the angels toolbox bye